Welcome to Louisiana Heartbeats. I'm Cindy Landry, your host for today. And today we're going to feature two special people that I have met recently, and they are the publishers of the Covenant Spotlight. Now, if you don't know what the Covenant Spotlight is, then keep tuned in because we're going to get the whole story of why it was created, who gets the credit, and who may be interested in participating. Welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Cindy. Okay, and we have Keith Lute. Yes. And we have Christy. Okay, and so for people that do not know what this magazine is about, which is the background uh, that we have on the screen, would you give us an idea of who created this, who gave you this idea? Well, it came from God through an unction of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh, we were, <clears throat> I'll tell you how it actually started. We went to a doctor's visit and we picked up another publication and it had an article about a, a school in Louisiana that was putting scripture up and it was being sued and it went into explanation of how ignorant we were for believing in God to just get to the gist of it and while we were offended righteously we decided well God what do we do there's nothing there next to it with an opposing point of view or a godly point of view and that birth covenant spotlight so from there God started putting people in our path that's the way he does it. Always. And they started, we started coming up with the idea, so we pitched it to someone who had started a magazine. And at first they didn't like the idea, but then they said, well, let's do it. So it was around March of last year that we started, and it just continued to grow from there. People kept showing up that we needed. All the people started falling in place. And then the next thing we know, we were producing a July magazine and getting it out on the stands. So it... It was truly an unction from God, mm -hmm. and one of those things, well, if it's not there, why don't you do it? And okay, I'm going to stop you right here and say, isn't that amazing? That is how God does all of us. Yes. He gets our attention, because that's why Louisiana Heartbeats is here. Amen. I, had, I lost sleep like a lot of people, and I was woke up one morning, and it said, I want you to showcase my people who are singing for me. And I'm thinking, Lord, singing, la, 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 no, <laughs> speak my words and they shall be healed. And I'll lead you down the path. In fact, I said, God, how am I, gonna, how am I going to choose who's going to be on this adventure with me? He said, don't worry. He said, when I send him in your path, you're going to know. So I uh, just stepped out in faith like you did. Mm -hmm. And when a person does that and they really believe in God being able to follow through, he calls. And if you're called and you accept it, he will equip, right? Amen. Amen. That's right. All of a sudden, you've got favor. People that you wouldn't even think would want to be on your team has come by? Yes. yes. By accident? No. No. Divine no. appointment. So you had an idea that was birthed in you by the Holy Spirit, and we want yes. to give that credit where Amen. credit's due. Absolutely. Amen. And somebody had to do it. Yes. So God chose you to be the one to do it. We didn't have any publishing background. Neither one <laughs> of us worked in that industry at all. So he just lined them up, and he set them in place, and step by step he created this magazine. Even the articles are by local people, right. local pastors, and we're just, just looking for you. If you're out there and you've got a God story, if That's you right. want to give God glory, then the magazine's open to that. Right. Our main goal is uniting to bo the body. We have churches all over the city, but we don't always talk to each other. That's right. So one of the things we'd like to do with the magazine is for the churches to put their events in it. So I may not go to the church across town, but I may enjoy the event that they're putting on how do I know? Because it's usually publicized in their four walls or in their church. Right, right. So if we put it in there, then I'll know that there's a fair or there's a, a Valentine's event. And I may, they may, it may be open, I just don't know. So we uh, intentionally invite the churches to put their events in there. And we have a page for it, as well as churches and where to find them. So on the website, you can go and click. And this was Christie's vision. And if you're in town and you move to the north side of town, here's some churches in that area, the south side. And you can click and little bubbles will come up and you can find out a little bit about the church and eventually get to that church website. Okay, Keith, so uh, how if a person really uh, wants to learn more about what you offer through this magazine, then they can just check out your webpage and they can get information there. Correct. If they have a question, they can get an answer or they can get a contact number Correct. to call people. How long has this magazine been on the stands or whatever in the stores or in businesses? Come on, tell us all about it. July. July. The first issue was in July. Yes. 
Okay, and so did you feature any particular columns in there that you could share with some of us that's not familiar with the articles that are in there? What was your one of your favorite? I know they're all your favorite, <laughs> but what was one of the favorite stories that you featured maybe in that first edition? I think the first one being July, it had a lot about um, not necessarily political issues, but, but where the church stands as a whole. And you know, Christ is involved mm. in politics mm. and his people should be involved. So we do talk about religion and we do talk about politics. So it was coming out with the first issue saying, you really wanna go after politics and religion, <laughs> Lord? And, and yes, absolutely, because we should be out there. So what, the first issue really surprised us at the, the what came in, the content that just kept flooding in with more and more information with pastors. We, we, it's the 4th of July, so kind of right about that. We, we weren't sure what to say. And the articles that came in lined up one after the other so you could read through it and just see God's hand put the whole thing together where you got a good understanding of, of why we should be involved as Christians, why we are not to attack the enemy physically. It's not flesh and blood we fight That's against, right. but principalities. So it, it came out in that way. And our main thing is we're not out to offend or accuse anyone. We're just to put God's word out there. So it's a lot of word content and it started from the beginning. And we, we, we go back to that. It just keeps flooding in. You said it earlier. And God just keeps sending the content and he puts light content together. We have themes. We didn't have themes the first year. We just published a magazine. <laughs> this year we have themes. and. And it's amazing how someone will say, I've got an article, but I can't get it in. Well, we have to get to publishing, and two or three will show up. And we just love the way God's doing it. All the articles are coming together. Well, let's slow this little roller coaster down. God <laughs> has already done it. It's already been a year, and he keeps adding to it. Let's go back to the very beginning. And you're, here you are. You've got this idea. And now, like, you had never been in this kind of business mm -hmm. before. I don't, I don't even like know. to read. What's that? I didn't even like to read. And you didn't <laughs> like to read, and you read now. Yeah. Yes. God has God's lots funny. of humor, doesn't mm -hmm. he? Well, I have a question. What, who was the first one to respond to get on your team of what did you need? How did you let the word get out? Hey, guys, this is what I'm doing. I'm not sure what to do. And how did it come about? Your staff, your first staff. The first person was a man named Danny Dardo, who's from here. I Danny had so. a magazine. Uh, I knew him well. Mm -hmm. We had actually had a meeting about something else, and uh, I had a, a medical issue, so I was home, and he came to visit me, and it had, we had just read that magazine. And as I'm talking to him about a totally different subject, ask, and I'd already asked God, how in the world are we going to put something on the side That's of right. it? And there's Danny who had a magazine, and I said, Danny, why don't we put a Christian magazine out to which he said, I already did that. I don't, mm -hmm. I'm not interested. Mm -hmm. So I said, okay. And as we talked, he said, well, what do you mean? And I said, well, God said we have to put something on the side. So as Danny and I met for a couple of hours, the next, I said, look, Danny, I know business, but I don't know publishing. So I, would, I don't even know how to put a business plan together. Well, two weeks later, he brought one. And we built off of that, and Danny was really the catalyst that pushed us into publication. Mm -hmm. And it just started building from there. And then people started, Danny knew some people, mm -hmm. so he asked them. And then we got our design editor, Tiffany Wyatt, and then the people started showing up. And they all brought more to the table. Every time someone came in, another piece fell right into place. And we thought, wow, how it really does just happen. Mm -hmm. God uses ordinary people <laughs> to do extraordinary things. and we have to take that step. We have to say, okay, we'll do it, because it, it is scary. Now, Keith, I had no idea, but my spirit already was telling me that somewhere along the line, Danny Dardo's name was going to come up, because I was contacted by, by Danny Dardo many years ago. We were attending the same church, and I was just doing my thing and doing different little events out there, and one day I get a phone call from Danny Dardo, and Danny Dardo says, you know what, I really think we need to get together. So we met and he asked me what I was doing, why I was doing all that. And of course, I became one of those road stories that he ended up putting in his magazine, his uh, newspapers at that time. Yes. Love those newspapers. So I got to know Danny. And so God didn't just send you somebody. Mm -hmm. He sent you somebody who knew what they were doing, Correct. family of publishing, the whole nine yards. Mm -hmm. 
And Danny is anointed by God, and he thought his season was over, but maybe for him. But God hadn't forgot about that, so he planted that new seed in you, and Danny, I'm sure, understood it. Awesome couple, Danny and Jody. Yes. And uh, and God, could, to me, could not have sent you a more qualified mentor or helper. Mm-hmm. So, amen. Small yes. world, huh? Yeah. It is. Everything comes back in its circle. Right. It's because cool. God's all, timing. Yeah, the same Father. That's right. That's mm-hmm. right. That's right. So I thought I'd just kind of add that to you. That's mm-hmm. why I, sometimes when my guests are up here and I'm smiling, it's like, okay, I'm going to try to keep quiet but then I got I look no Amen. I got to tell you what's going on yeah. but that was wonderful so he hooked you up when I first came here you know I knew that I knew somebody had to do something I'll never forget I mean that they laugh about it to this day I walked in here and said there's nothing but garbage on here and I know what the Lord has me doing we can do something better and blah blah Amen. blah blah of course I had no idea how to put a crew together how to do any right. of that I just you know said what the idea was and I shared it with the uh, executive secretary at the time and and before you know it I just had different people volunteering to do this and help me with this and that's why we have a crew here I've had two crews before just when you think the season's over God sends in somebody else mm-hmm. it's amazing it is. Yes. but when you have favor amen and I want to give credit to where credit's due amen the Lord has blessed me with favor I have so much fun that he gives me a crew that wants to have fun we believe in each other's visions. We help each other out. That's what AOC is all about. Okay, that our crew is so easy to get along with, and a lot of people want them to help. So the Lord is using my guys, my friends, my crew members to help do other shows, as He's helping with me being part of that also. When you got a good thing going, everybody wants to be a part of it. Covenant yeah. Spotlight. When I saw this, the first thing I thought was. I wonder if Danny has anything to do with that. I'm serious. Because <laughs> sure it reminded did. me, you see, yes. but I'm excited to know that that uh, you have this out there now. You just started it a year ago in July, just July recently. This, this past, past July. July just was the first July. issue. Yes. It actually started in March, April when we had those meetings. And um, we didn't know what it took or how long it took, but July was the first issue. Yeah. We okay. had hoped for June, but God... and. and you know the way God does it the perfection came in July the cover was better everything um, so uh, what kind of topics um, have you not covered that you would like if I'm also the president of the Writers Guild of Katyana mm-hmm. and people are always looking to be able to showcase their 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 stories mm-hmm. and everyone knows where I stand and the inspiration part that's my specialty inspirational and so therefore if someone wants to be a part of your magazine Mm -hmm. and if they're interested then i can have permission to have them contact you absolutely okay all right each magazine that's out there in the world they showcase different things so you want to be specific as to what you want to put in your magazine so my goal would be to i was asked the question by cv who cv i met her only because I had to reach out for an editor looking to help a new, want to be a new author. And that's how I met CV, who is not here today, who has gotten you two guys to come in here today. But through CV, who also had something to do with the Writers Guild many years ago, okay, she remembered, and that's how we got connected today. Her question to me was, is there anything, Sudi, that you can do to help us get the word out? about Covenant Spotlight. Well, here it is. Yeah. God already had it in plan, <laughs> yes. right? So, because, and with, with that said, the reason I bring this up is, okay, he blessed you with Danny Dardo. He's put you here. We're blessed to be able to put our shows on YouTube. You have a website. People can check it out for more, more information. Um, my connections with the Writers Guild and their desires to write in different people's genres then possibly I'm just going to line them up to contact you and you the boss, you do whatever, whatever stages they have to go through to be there. Um, anything I do is free, okay? So I send people who usually want to do it free, okay? So we're not talking about money, we're talking about mm-hmm. the, being able to share and everybody wants to share something. So the inspirational part, that is uh, something I can uh, try to help you out with. What er- other areas would you like to share with people to showcase Covenant Spotlight? 
What's your heart's desire? Let's talk about that. You like Can it? I say, yes. Yeah. Come it's, on. It's the me. voice of the body. It's the yes. voice of the entire body. That's what God put it put together. It's connections, like you were talking about connections. That's right. He likes to connect us. So he connects dots. So if we have a Christian lawyer out there who wants to go into his area, we want your stuff. If you are a stay-at-home mom and you have stories about how you raise your children, you know, with the Word of God, we want your stories. If you have a testimony, um, you know, you're a cancer survivor, you're, we want your stories. It's, yes, it's not just the pastors of the churches, but it's the entire body. We, we let the Holy Spirit have His way, and like He said, he, God just keeps putting it together. Because sometimes I'll try to jump in there because I'm like, well, we have, we need this space filled and what are we going to do? So I'll just pull something and I'm like, okay, we got something, but that's not God's plan. So before we get to deadline, he brings it in. And so if anything that we're learning through this process is waiting on God because he brings the connections in. So what types of stories, what genres, what feel, anything to glorify God. That's anything and everything. Thing. That's it. That's it. Yeah. If it glorifies God, if God put it on your heart, we want it. Yes. It's, it's the a standing voice. up for what you believe in and sharing and encouraging through all of the above with all mm -hmm. the connections. We all have a story to tell. Right. Mm -hmm. And some of us just have more than others, but it's all the same body of Christ. Right. I uh, get got excited uh, when I began, I went through the whole magazine that I did pick up, and I'm like, yep, this is great, this is wonderful. I could see that's on the back of the green screen, you know, we could talk about that. Uh, we all, okay, let's bring this up. As a Christian, we all attend different churches. So people think that when you put something out that's about God, that they you gonna have to go to their church or like one person right. told me if I don't go to your church I'm going to hell <clears throat> said no ma'am I said if you don't line up God's word Amen. you'll go to hell for sure but I'm not the one that's gonna be judging you right. what qualifies you to go there mm -hmm. so when I get put in situations I just say and I have been asked some you know questions I'm gonna love you unconditionally like the Lord loved us all still loves us and thank God he does mm -hmm. it's up to him what he I go by what his word I understand, but I fall down, I get up. But you know what? I don't fall down as much as I used to. Right. Mm -hmm. I said, so I want to tell you that this is sin, this is sin, this is sin. God will tell you. Mm -hmm. I said, but certain people do take advantage, and the truth is the truth. Just read the word and ask for understanding, Right. and then mm -hmm. you'll understand why I'm saying that God is a merciful God, but he's also one I learned he's a jealous God, and I didn't like that idea at first. But now I understand, because yes. he says you can only serve one master. Yes. Right. You yes. choose, or you choose. You don't talk out of both corners. Praise the Lord this, and mm -hmm. go do completely opposite. That's right. the way. But I thank God that he forgives us, and he gives us more than one chance. You Amen. Know? So, <clears throat> the covenant, I have some stories it's on the internet, testimonies by two or three people that I would love to send in, and I know yes. they would love it. Awesome. And, I mean, we're talking uh, miracles, just awesome stories, and uh, I will be glad to tell them about that. Right. First of all, ask them permission, give them the information, let mm -hmm. them send it in. Right. If they've lost copies, then get permission that I can send it in to you. And that's the kind of stories I love, true yeah. stories, mm -hmm. real stories. Yes. Right. And the covenant is with God. We're under a grace covenant now. We know the law, it helps us to live right, but we're under the covenant of grace. So before we point fingers, we work on these three. We get the, the log out of our eye first, and that's what we want to do. And we want, that's why Christy said it's the whole body. It's the whole body. Because we, we all need to share what God gave us, and we're all ordinary people. David was a, a young man, ordinary. What did God do with him? Paul, Saul was extraordinary in the wrong way and God turned him into a in the end a very humble and taught us how to put a church together on and on and on what God does we want in the word <clears throat> and we want that for someone who says well that's a decent cover what is covenant what is spotlight 
and get an article out of there that maybe their eternity changes by reading an article. That's right. So that's, that's right. why we want the Holy Spirit to put every edition together to make sure every story is His. We have themes that we go by, but it's all Him, it's all His. Okay. So, so that's exactly what we want. You know, stories about covenant, stories about Jesus, the Holy Spirit. What is the Godhead doing in your life? All about God. Yes. All about God. Where can a person find your magazines? Are they free? Yes, all, all right. Where are they located? So if someone's interested, they can find them. We, they have a spot on um, the website the that you can go in and put in your um, zip code, and it'll tell you where they have a spot around you. Okay. But at, at um, most grocery stores or restaurants, and it uh, comes the churches. Out? Does it come out a certain time each month? The beginning of the yes. month. Always the beginning, the first, or yes. about the first? Okay, okay. Now, is this uh, your livelihood, or do you two have jobs, or are you a stay-at-home mom? What's the deal? Give us a scoop. She's the manager <laughs> of the magazine, and that, that came about by God. You know, when Christy said she didn't like to read, she didn't want to manage a magazine either. She didn't oh, want to be general manager. Mom. But she, God has equipped her for this job, and she gets this thing together. We have CV, we have Tiffany, we have other people who are helping that, but she pours over it because her heart is the excellence of God in there. So she's saying, well, this is not perfect, and I just love to watch her doing it because she's taking it on. I work outside. I, I'm in the all field. So. Okay, all right. Well, I was just curious about that. You know, a lot of people want to be in ministry, and they get excited, and they t get a taste of the anointing, and then they want to make a living out of it. But, you know, if you're not called by God, Amen. it's not happening. Stuff is not going to fall into place. <clears throat> Because when he opens doors, they just kind of keep on opening. Right. But boy, when he doesn't, and you're trying to force your way through. And I learned a long time ago, I've had a lot of people come in my life, and I've been blessed to be a part of ministries, and one day I'll go, they all want to, you know, oh, I could make, oh, I could do this for a living. I could be, when you've yeah. got the taste of the anointing, oh, my gosh. Yes. You just, you're doing something for God, and it's favored by God. You just have this excitement that you just want to live it for the rest of your life. But that's just not reality. Right. But. This particular person came one day and I said, oh God, she's going to come in and she's going to ask me this question and I want to be godly, but I've about had enough. What can I say? <laughs> and and the reason I'm bringing this up is that when it is anointed by God, it keeps on giving, it keeps yeah. on going. And when it's over, he'll finish it off. Mm -hmm. And what happened is this particular day, I love this person, but I'd been doing about seven years worth of this. And she came in and the Lord showed me. He said, you know what? She loves me, and I know where she's at. So I'm going to give you the answer. Tell her to close her eyes and ask her this question, but tell her not to give you the answer. Okay, close your eyes. Now, if you close your eyes and you think about the person that you admire the most, that has the anointing of God, has the life that you think you would want to live. Now, you got that name? Don't say it. Yes. All right, are you willing to go through what they went through to Amen. be where they're at now? Right. That's it. And that person to this day has never complained. And she said no. So God knows who's been through the test, mm -hmm. who's been through the trials, and he just keeps on giving us responsibilities yes. when we don't yeah. ask for it. Sometimes I remind God, I didn't ask for that. So-and-so mm -hmm. asked for that. Yeah, but I gave it to you, you know. Yes. So in the end, it's all really a wonderful thing. And, uh, but I know that God has called you guys to testify for him. And I really believe that the favor is going to keep increasing. And I want to encourage anybody that's watching the show, if they're interested, to check out your website. And go ahead and, yes, it was up there. Say it verbally again. Uh, www.cspotlight.com. The letter C. The letter C. Spotlight.com. There you go. Let's do it again. W-W-W dot, the letter C like cat, spot, S-P-O-T-L-I-G-H-T dot com. If you'd like more information, how to get connected, possibly participate mm -hmm. uh, in this wonderful magazine that's out there, and it's free, and it can be found at your local stores in different areas. Well, I want to tell you that you've been watching Louisiana Heartbeats, and to tune in every Tuesday night, just might be you that we're showcasing, but today we have been featuring the publishers of the new magazine, Covenant Spotlight, and you'd be looking to hear more and more about this if you want to participate. You can always check out the website that we just gave or check out the Louisiana Heartbeats website. Tune in 
just never know, it might be you and your show that we're showcasing.